Hey Deckers, Elden Ring Shadow of the Erdtree DLC has dropped but it's having issues on the Steam Deck but not as big an issue of the prerequisite that they didn't really tell us about or if they did most of us weren't paying attention. So not only can you potentially not even get into multiplayer anymore if you're on the base game but do you actually use the DLC if you did download it and install it? You have to beat quite a lot of the game including two of these bosses one of which is this one and you can see just how well my progress was going trying to get past this boss right here and I'm level 66 I've already put over 35 hours into the game beyond some of the testing and wizard was probably not the best class for me to pick for this and probably not best to be doing this boss while recording with a minor input delay but it was kind of refreshing to see that when I did team up with somebody else joining their game they lasted pretty much as long as I did so hefty bosses to get past to get to the actual DLC so don't buy the DLC if you haven't beaten those two bosses I'll put the two bosses on the screen here for that you need to get for the prerequisites for the DLC so they are quite far through the game but as I also mentioned there seems to be an issue that keeps either getting people banned or just blocked from going online after downloading and installing the DLC that issue actually went away for me however a little bit later when I was in and out of games and a few multiplayers, it did come back. But again, once I restarted the game, it seemed to fix it when I had the DLC installed. But when I didn't have the DLC installed, it just popped up every time I came into the game. So hopefully they get that fixed. I'm not forcing people to download the DLC, which is £35. Now overall with the settings, they're not really making a huge amount of difference. And this is my kind of favourite spot to set these. So my recommended settings are going to stick around the medium overall graphics preset with anti-aliasing on high and reflection quality and shader quality on low as well as motion blur off. So obviously have that on if you like it. This will get you anywhere between 35 and 60 frames per second depending on the scenery. As you saw in the main boss fight, before you go into the area it was 60 frames per second, in the boss area it was 40 to 50 and in this area of the map it's kind of hard to hold 40. Now if you want a perfectly stable experience then you do want to cap the Steam Deck at 30 frames per second and you will have absolutely no issues with any of these sections with these settings. But if you do want to push for that 40 or the higher frames per second when they're available then leave that uncapped. 40 cap on the deck will get you a good stable experience for the most part but it will still dip into the mid 30s in these areas so only 30 frames per second cap is going to get you that super solid experience or just let it waver about as you wish this is actually the high preset with the shaders and shadows on medium and it still runs at pretty much the same setting so bar a little bit extra on the wattage changing the settings really don't make a huge amount of difference but it does make a huge difference on the actual quality of the scenery and the grass etc around you so just pick the settings that look best for you and feel best overall and cap it or don't depending on your preference I will get to the earth tree section and try these settings again just to see how it goes but that may take me some time let us know in the comments below if you've made it that far or whether that's put you off already thanks for watching and see you in the next one